So I'm back, and today we are going to take a look at Warbitron's Sly Strike, aka Swindle. Um, and as you can see, he's not G1 accurate at all here. <laughs> um, they definitely took some cute, more cues from uh, the Fans Project version uh, of Swindle. Um, because they turned Swindle into a Hummer, um, whereas G1 he was a Jeep um, without the uh, top section. Um, somewhere I actually have the G2 Swindle. Yeah, it's a G2 version, so it's painted differently, but see, he's more of a Jeep than a Hummer, so it's not accurate, but, uh, you know, I mean, I prefer the Hummer than the Jeep when it comes to the combined mode, just because it's going to look thicker um, and be a more full leg. Where I mean, I do like the Jeep, the classic Army Jeep, better than the Hummer personally but uh, for the combined mode purposes this is a much better way to go I think um, and Hummers are bigger than just Jeeps so um, so yeah uh, rolls very well no problems whatsoever um, looks great um, uh, is this uh, backpack up here it's a little fidgety um, when you're getting them into uh, Jeep mode, uh, but it's not too bad. Um, I would say my only complaint about uh, this mode, and well, the figure in general, is that there's no real, like, like I, mean, I would love it if this was just flat piece rather than uh, detailed plastic, that way I could slap a Decepticon logo on there. Um, but other than that, there's not really a, a place to put one. So, um, but yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, you can see, like, this is probably where the foot plate's going to be, I would imagine. Um, the combiner port's up here somewhere. Um, as I normally do with uh, the combined figures, uh, combiner figures, I'm not going to show off um, the combined mode until he's complete. So, just because the figure should sell itself, as I always say. This figure should sell itself um, by itself without having to be like, well, he's cool, the combined mode's better, therefore I'll get him just for that. I think each figure, when we're talking $100 a piece, each figure should be able to be like, okay, this one's good, this one's bad. So, um, anyway. Um, yeah, uh, nothing really else to show off. He's got these uh, cannons up here. Um, you can take these off. And uh, he's got just like a little blaster and a big cannon. Um, this handle flips down. Um, I have yet to really find a use for this handle. Um, it doesn't plug in anywhere, and it's too wide for his hands. I, I tried to put it into his hand and his thumb started getting a stress mark so I stopped um, and this this peg here plugs in just fine so maybe this is supposed to be like a pistol for um, the Bruticus mode uh, I don't know but uh, either way this handle for me anyway um, is pretty much useless so set those off to the side um, there's a look at them without the guns Again, uh, you know, really great looking truck. Um, I, I do really like him. Um, I like him a lot. So, to uh, go ahead and start transforming him, first thing you want to do is pull these panels here out. And they peg in very well, and they're very thin, so they do have me a little worried. But they do have a little bit of a give to the plastic, so that's a really nice thing. So you want to fold these all the way out like so. Do the same thing over here. And 
just like so. So now he's got like a, a flight mode. I'm kidding, he's not tracks. Um, and then you want to take the legs here and just fold them straight down like you would almost any other swindle in the world. Fold those down like this so. You take this panel here, fold this down. This panel here, fold that down. That just kind of covers up the back of the legs. They really put a lot of thought into covering up all the uh, the gaps, um, which is really nice. You fold the feet down and then fold out the heel spur. And then this little toe has a little bit of a joint here, so you want to make sure that gets folded back down. Then you take this panel here and fold this down, and that fills in that spot, and it comes up with a whole bunch of really cool little details. Uh, it would have been nice if they would have painted these silver, um, just to give it a little bit more, but uh, you know, who cares? So fold this down, fold this down, and there you have the feet. And he's coming together. Sorry about that. My uh, lens seemed a little dirty, so I wiped it off real quick. Uh, I think that looks a lot better. I don't know if it's affecting you guys at all, but it was kind of affecting me. So, or maybe it was my glasses. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so what you want to do is pull this arm out like so. Pull this arm out like so. Just kind of get these up out of the way. Um, then you take uh, so you take this windshield here, pull this up like that. And then you take this grill section. Um, oh, this piece came off. It's just on uh, two little friction ports, but it's supposed to sit like this, so sorry about that. So you want to take this piece up. I'll probably end up gluing this into place because this is, I mean, it, it mo it's mobile, but it's pretty, it easily pops off and leaving it there really doesn't hinder anything. Okay, so fold that there. You can fold this whole waist assembly down like so. Flip up the head and then you snap the waist into place just like so. Uh, when you first unpeg this it's so tight that I didn't even think that it was a joint for a minute there um, I've yet to actually look at the instructions for this guy to be honest um, it is simple enough take this whole section here and you fold this back just kind of get that out of the way rotate the arm around like so and then this piece here um, there's a plug the hole plug that in it holds very well. Um, I mean, it's not like, oh my god, it's not going to come out tight, but it's tight enough that it doesn't hinder any movement. Take the wheels and just, we'll just leave them there to keep them out of the way for a moment. Do the same thing over here. Just kind of, just like so. Take uh, this panel here, you fold this in, and then you fold this in like so. Do the same thing over here. This one comes around, this one folds up like so, and then you take, now these, uh, uh, here we go. So this panel here is on a slider joint um, with this panel here. So you want to actually collapse this in and there you go, like so. So it's like that instead. Again, I'll show you it on this side, but uh, before, and then just slide it together. Like so. So it's like that. And then you can plug these things back together like they were. Um, they designed these sliders so that they actually wouldn't inter interfere with each other, which is really, really nice. Um, and another kind of cool aspect is, see where these rivets are 
in this in the molding that's actually the back end of the screw so they actually knew that they needed the screw to be a little bit longer than the plastic so they engineered it so that it had a little bolt looking thing so i mean that's one of those that's actually really cool um so you plug these together like so you want to take this piece here and i like to just this is where you can just kind of do your own thing here um just kind of get this folded in like so just kind of keep it out of the way and i'll fold that like that and those like that so it's all just a kind of streamlined backpack um, you don't have to do it that way you can kind of pose it however you want to but uh, that's how i do it rotate the head around take the wheels and you just fold them back like so open up these panels here and you'll flip down the hand and these hands are a little tight to get out eventually those will loosen up i'm sure rotate the arm around and there you have that arm done so flip this out rotate the hand out like i said it's it's a pretty tight fit in there um now the hands when you put them in there don't be too uh shocked um because you know, let me show you when you put it in there this thing doesn't quite close all the way but because this whole assembly gets locked underside the uh actual truck um it doesn't you, you don't see it so it doesn't bother me at all uh, let me close that panel back up and but when the hands out it closes up real nicely so flip this around and there is your warbitron slice strike in robot mode and he is awesome um he's just really really good um Engineering is pretty superb. Um, it's a lot of fun to mess with. Um, he's not, I, I wouldn't put him in a masterpiece level, but he's way more superior than most classics. Um, this guy, you know, he, he's very well engineered. Um, the backpack, like I said, um, this, this plastic here does feel thin, but it's got that give to it. So it, it doesn't, it doesn't worry me as much as um, that rip hard plastic or clear plastic. And yeah, um, so you take the uh, cannon here. Um, you know, a lot of promo pictures had it where the cannon was like on his shoulder, but I can't get it to, to fit in there like that um, at all. And if you flip the longer handle out, because um, it's got this little lip right there. That doesn't even come close to fitting in there uh, and i can't figure out like if it's supposed to slide in somewhere you know maybe i'm doing something wrong but uh, all in all basically what you got to do is just flip this smaller handle out and you can just plug it into his hand just like so um, i wish this little screw hole was a little bit bigger because in the cartoon he always had a arm cannon um, almost like a mini Meg Megatron, but it just doesn't quite fit in there, and it just, I don't want to try and force it, so. And of course, he's got the little pistol, too, that he can hold on to as well. Um, for Swindle, I kind of prefer the pistol as opposed to the giant blaster, so that's probably the way I'm going to do it. Um, but uh, it's kind of cool that he's got options. Um, posability, his head is on a ball joint, so it looks all the way around, up, down a little bit. Um, great range of motion there. Um, shoulders rotate around. Um, you gotta, you gotta watch this wheel, because if it gets in the way, it will get stuck. Um, but it rotates all the way around. Rotates in and out. Swivels at the bicep. Bends at the elbow. Um, pretty good bend. Does go backwards a little bit, too. Hand is on a swivel, fingers on hinges, waist swivels. Um, backpack uh, can get in the way a tiny bit, but uh, nothing that just slight movements wouldn't fix. Hips 
are on double sockets, um, so in, out, up, down, pretty much all around. Um, you know, he gets a pretty good walking, or pretty good up and down range there. The leg goes that far back, so uh, pretty natural there, actually. Um, swivels at the thigh, bends at the knee, um, pretty good bend there. Um, I mean, it has to be a good bend because the whole thing does fold up, but uh, when you have the panels down, uh, you can get it all the way up to there still. So, And then the foot is on a uh, ball joint, so it gets a little side to side. It's on a swivel right up here, so it does kind of rotate up and down. And the heel does move on its own, so like if you just, if you needed to put a foot backwards a little bit, you can kind of anchor it with the heel just a little bit, like he's running. So, so yeah. Um, let's do some size comparison, and I will uh, give out my final thoughts on this guy. All right, so for comparison, here he is next to the Seeker Mold. And as you can see, he, he goes about mid-chest there. Um, real quick, since I did pull him out, here he is next to the G2 Swindle. See how he compares there. <laughs> Here he is with the Eye Gear Seeker. Here you can see he's still well, almost a head taller than him, which is pretty good. Let's get these guys out of the way. And before I bring out the next spots, um, I wanted to show this off too. He's got an amazing head sculpt. Um, there you go. Um, it, it's really nice. It looks like he's laughing. Um, bright purple eyes because that light piping works really well on him. Um, I mean, that is just swindled to a T. He's really, really cool. Um, so here he is again with his uh, brethren. Uh, here he is with Blast Off. Who is just a little taller than him. And here he is next to Brawl. Now Brawl had more flaws than Swindle. Um, but I liked him better. Um, that, that was, I think, a little biased. Um... The Swindle, as far as I can see, I don't have any quality control issues on there. Um, so he's he's just a really good, solid figure. I really, really like him. Um, really like him. Um, all in all... Uh, all in all, I would actually have to give him a 10 out of 10. Um, they're isn't a whole lot on him I would change. I mean, aesthetic purposes, I'd like to have a peg hole for the shoulder cannon. But that's it. Um, other than that, everything else seems to be just about perfect on this guy. I, I really like him. I, I think he's a, an incredible figure. Uh, highly, highly recommend him. Um, he's one of those, like Brawl, where even if you're not looking at complete in the set to do the combiners. These guys are just that good. Um, oh, I wish I had Masterpiece Prowl sitting around, otherwise I'd put him up here. Because um, I'm thinking these two are damn near Masterpiece quality um, designs. Um, Blast Off, uh, I still have issues with him because he wasn't a very good quality control figure, so... I might end up buying a new one uh, to see if maybe the second run does better. But uh, so far, um, two out of three, they got, they just nailed right out of the park. So these guys are pretty good. So I do recommend them. 
Uh, I do recommend him. Uh, I think he's great. Um, like I said, uh, 10, 10 out of 10, uh, in my opinion. I'm sure people will disagree, but for me, 10 out of 10 for the uh, not swindle.